stop looking for work and stop looking for money. If you are attracting the wrong clients, I can guarantee you that is what you are looking for. Today, we are going to talk about how to change your mindset, why you are attracting the wrong people, and how you can attract the right people to help you grow your business. I'm Lisa Baldwin, and I started my VA business with a laptop and an idea. Now I'm going to teach you to do the same. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're watching me, my name is Lisa Baldwin. And today, what I want to talk about is why you are attracting the wrong clients and how just a simple mindset change can help you attract the clients that you want and the ones that can help you grow your business, which eventually will help grow your pocketbook. So where this really stems from, and it's something I've talked about before, and I'm just gonna talk about it very briefly here because you've heard it before from me if you've watched me for some time. But when I started my business, I was looking for uh, quantity over quality meaning I just needed somebody to pay me. I didn't care what they really wanted me to do or how long they needed me to be a virtual assistant for them. Like I just needed money to start and grow my business. And then what would happen is I would get clients that would literally fall off the face of the earth. These were the type of clients that thought hiring a VA was going to be like a quick fix or a magic pill and it was going to make everything in their business better. And what they realized is after a month or two of hiring a VA, like it wasn't fixing their problem. And the reason it wasn't fixing their problem is because the type of people that I was attracting to my business were people that had no clear vision, they had no goals. Their business was a lot of times in ear repair, like it was a sinking ship, and they thought a VA was like gonna be the life raft that they needed, and they soon realized that it wasn't. But what I was doing is I was not properly vetting these people. Now, I'm not saying that these people don't need a virtual assistant, or they don't need a, a assistance at all in their business, or that they're bad business owners. I, like, I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is, they weren't the type of client that I wanted in my business. They weren't the type of client that was gonna help me grow my business. They weren't a long-term client. They were somebody that was looking for a short-term solution and soon realized that I couldn't provide that for them. That was 100% the wrong approach. I was frustrated because these clients, they never wanted to spend a lot of money so they never purchased a lot of hours. And what I found at one point in my business is I had like this whole pool of clients and they all needed a few hours from me here or there. And I was having to learn all these different clients, all these different things. And then in two months, they were gone. So very shortly after I started my business, I don't know, maybe six months is not shortly, but about six months in, I realized that I needed to start looking for quality over quantity. I needed quality business owners that had clear vision, that had clear goals, that knew what they wanted for their business. Their business was headed in the right direction. It was ready to scale up, but they didn't know the next step. They weren't looking for me to throw them a life preserver to save their business. They knew they needed help and they needed me to come alongside in a business relationship and help them out with that. They didn't need me to come in and save it. They needed a partnership rather than a full on takeover. That is when I changed my approach to the discovery call. Now I have done a video and it's actually one of my most popular videos on the discovery call and I will link that in the comments below. But what I had to do is I had to change the questions that I asked in the discovery call. I'm not gonna mention those here because like I said, I have done a video about it in the past. But when I started asking the right questions, I was able to properly weed out the clients that I didn't want. And what I found is when I asked the right questions, when I found out what clients were looking for, when I was able to see, okay, they're looking for a quick fix magic pill, I am not that, or they have clear vision, clear goals of what they want their business to be, they know what they want, 
and they know what they need me to do, I was quickly able to determine that those were the type of people that I wanted to work with. Those people also see the working relationship that you will have with them as a partnership rather than they are just hiring you uh, as another employee. Because again, that's not what a virtual assistant is. A virtual assistant is an independent contractor and you own your own business and they own their own business. But again, they started to see that as a long-term business working relationship rather than a short-term band-aid type solution. Another thing with the quality over quantity is once you shift your mindset to how you can serve a business or a client rather than how you can earn a paycheck from them, you are able to bring more value to that client which will build a mutually beneficial relationship between the two of you. And that is going to help you ultimately grow your business because these clients are going to be able to trust you more quickly, more quickly, quicker, more quickly. You know what I mean? And they're going to send you more work. That is ultimately going to slowly increase your paycheck. Also, like I previously mentioned, they are going to see you as a long-term solution. So you aren't going to have to learn a new client every single couple of months. You are going to have consistent clients that are going to consistently send you more work or at least send you consistent work. So that is going to allow your business to grow as well. Next, they are going to send you good referrals. And I've also done a video about this, but when you find people who are focused on their business, when you find people who know what they want, their business is moving in the right direction, those people tend to hang out like, like birds of a feather flock together, right? You've heard that? They tend to flock with the same type of people, the same like-minded type of people. So they're also spending time or working in circles that have uh, business owners or entrepreneurs that also have clear vision for their business. They have clear goals. Their business is moving in a positive direction. So if you get anything out of this video, I want you to know that changing your overall mindset, changing your overall approach to getting clients is going to help you grow your business. When you have good quality clients because you have properly vetted them through the discovery call process, something you may not even know or expect is what you can actually learn from these clients. Because chances are these clients are people who have been in business longer than you have been, right? So they've had failures, I've done a failure video. You can learn from their failures. Right? You can learn from their successes, but that's something that a lot of times people don't think of is that you can actually learn from your clients as well. You can also increase your skill set because like I said, the more that people trust you, the more work they're going to give you. They're probably going to ask you to do things that you've never done before. Um, you know, they may ask you to help with social media and you've maybe never done that before. Um, they may ask you to work with email marketing campaigns and you've never done that before. You guys, that's how I learned how to do that stuff. I was going to say crap, but well, there I said crap anyway. But that's how I learned how to do that stuff was because my clients asked me how to do it. I didn't know how to do it. I learned because that's what they needed in their business. I learned how to do it. I increased that skill set, and now it's a skill that I can offer to other people, makes me more valuable to other clients and other businesses. And ultimately, it makes you more valuable. And the more valuable you are, the more people are gonna pay you, the more they're gonna wanna work with you. So if you found this valuable, I encourage you to subscribe. Be sure to ring the bell so every Tuesday at 10 o'clock central time when I drop a video, you get a notification. So if you got anything out of this video, it's that you need to stop looking for work and you need to stop chasing money because that is attracting the wrong people. What you need to do is you need to look at ways that you can serve businesses and the best way to do that is by having a proper vetting process in place during your discovery call. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you in the next one.